yourself up to the top. Exhale, sigh it out. All through the mouth. Take another deep, smooth inhale in. Fill yourself up all the way up to the top. Exhale, sigh it out. One more deep inhale in. Fill yourself up all the way up to the top. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. Beautiful. From here, ladies, you can gently begin to flutter the eyes open. I'm gonna meet you on my mat here. From here, we're gonna bring our hands to our knees and we're gonna uh, move through some spinal flexion. So these are seated cat cows. So on our inhale, press your heart forward, chin up, chest up, feel a nice gentle arch in your back. Yes, beautiful. Exhale, round out the spine, chin to chest navel towards your spine. Inhale, press your heart forward, chin up, chest up. Beautiful. Exhale, round it out, chin to chest, navel to spine. And then I'm going to encourage you throughout the practice to close your eyes and feel into the movements here, allowing your breath to guide you so it doesn't need to be um, how it looks like, how you see me doing it, right? Allow yourself to think of it more of how does it feel? Does it feel good? As opposed to like, what does it look like? Am I doing it right? So allow your breath to guide you as we warm up our beautiful spine here and allow the energy to flow. Inhaling to press your beautiful heart forward and exhaling to round it out. Yes. Take one more round. Then we'll meet back at center. We're going to continue some more spinal flexions. So we're going to make circles now with our torso. So sending your heart forward. Inhaling and as you exhaling, rounding it out. So same idea as earlier, but now we just wanna make circles with our torso, yes. And as best you can, uh, maintaining your hip, your sit bones rather, ground it, ground it down evenly through the mat. Yes. You might even find some like freestyle here if it feels good to kind of just sway. Yes, let the circle be whatever it needs it to be. And if you haven't already, go ahead and switch it over, sending the circle to the other side. Yes. So beautiful, ladies. Yes. Mm. As you're ready, find your way back to center. Yes, just taking a moment here. Notice how you feel. Let's take a deep, smooth inhale in through our nose. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. <sighs> Beautiful. If your eyes are closed, you could go ahead and gently flutter them open. From here, go ahead and interlace your fingers like so. And we're gonna drop the thumbs down. We're gonna bring our hands behind our head here. Yeah, and just let that head fall into your palms, elbows spread super wide as best you can, and your heart open to this, yes, open to the sky. You could go ahead and just start rocking back, or side to side rather, really lifting up out of your side waist here, feel that stretch on the side body, and bring your breath, don't forget that beautiful breath, it's what supports you, that life force energy that flows in and out, allow it to to support you and guide you, right? Yes, and then the next time you're over on the left side, left elbow dropping towards the left side, right elbow towards the sky. Just staying here for a moment, really radiating through the heart, chin away from chest, feel that stretch on the right side body, breathe into that right side body. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. 
Take one more deep, smooth inhale in here. Exhale, let it go. Gently coming back to center. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, send it over towards the right side. Right elbow towards the mat, left elbow up towards the sky. Yes, deep inhale into that side body. Exhale, side out. Take another deep, smooth inhale in into that left lung. Exhale, side out. Gently bring yourself back to center. Take a deep inhale in, press your heart up to the sky. Exhale, release your hands down by your sides, yes. From here, we're gonna send both legs out long in front of us, so straddling. Um, no, there's no like flexibility competition here. Whatever your legs are for you today, just let them land there, right? Again, it might feel comfortable to sit on something, just um, a suggestion there for the hips to be seated up a little higher, allow us to really sit tall, long, beautiful spine, crown of the head reaching up. And we're just gonna bring our hands out in front of us, palms down. So you could stay here, tent it up on your fingers if that's where you're at today. Um, but if you wanna keep the journey going, you might just keep walking your hands out in front of you as far as you could go, hinging at the hips here. Yes. And your body's gonna tell you when, when it's time to, to pause, right? Deep inhales in, long exhales out, yes. And once you've kind of found your edge, um, you might gently release your chin towards your chest, allow your torso to relax down. If you are feeling flexible today, you might release your forearms onto your mat here, hinging at the hips, nice seated wide-legged forward fold. Take a deep inhale in, exhale side out. Take one more deep inhale into the top. Exhale, side out. And wherever you are, gently start to walk your hands back up. Yes, so good. And then gently can just start bringing the feet together, bouncing them up and down. Yeah, I might feel really good here. And then from here, we're gonna make our way into a tabletop position. So coming into our hands and knees, I'm gonna put my blankie to the side. And yes, tabletop. So we want our hands underneath our shoulders, our knees underneath our hip points here. One long line from the base of your spine through the crown of your head. Yes. And we're gonna move through some cat cows here. So from here, inhale, drop your belly gaze up towards the sky, cow pose, just like before when we were seated. Exhale, chin to chest, round out the spine like a cat, feel that stretch in the upper back body. And then exhale, drop the belly, gaze up, chin up, chest up. Exhale, round it out, chin to chest, cat spine. Rounding up that back and then keep it flowing on your own. Marrying your breath to your movements moving through your own little flow here noticing how it feels in your body i'm just gonna check on y'all yes so beautiful yeah and if it feels good to kind of just start to freestyle here noticing what feels good maybe it's bumping the hips one way then bumping them another allow yourself to move freely with that gorgeous yes Sometimes it feels good to flip the palms the other way, really get a stretch in the forearms, maybe tuck the toes. Just some suggestions here. We all look great. Yes, allow yourself to really feel what your body needs today. Wherever you are, go ahead and take one more round. And we'll find our way back at center in our tabletop. Yes, gorgeous. <laughs> okay, from here, we're going to drop our elbows down to where our hands were, bringing our forearms to the mat. So we're setting up for a puppy posture here. So first checking in with the hands. 
palms flat on the mat, forearms down. Essentially, we want a, a number 11 with our forearms, arms parallel to each other. And then we're just gonna start walking our knees back slightly, slightly, slightly hips still up towards the sky. And then as you're ready, go ahead and melt your heart back down towards your mat, dropping your forehead onto the mat. So they call this a puppy posture. Head underneath our heart here. And just breathing deep. This is a beautiful uh, shoulder stretch and heart opener. Give yourself a moment to breathe into it. Hmm, this is essentially an inversion here since our head is under our heart space. Breathe deep. Take a deep, smooth inhale into the top. Exhale, sigh it out. Ah. Let's take one more, just like that. Deep inhale into the top. Fill yourself up. Exhale, sigh it out. All right, from here, I want you to bring your awareness into your uh, core space, your belly space, really engage that core, knit the ribs in towards one another. And from this space, we're going to slide our heart forward. So imagine like sliding into home plate in baseball, sliding into it, into a sphinx pose here. Yes, yeah, so coming on to the belly, tops of the feet rooting you down here, pubic bone pressing into the ground, and we're pressing into our forearms, lifting our chest up. Shoulders drop down away from your ears. Yes, gorgeous. And the chin is parallel to the ground here. Woo, deep inhale into your heart. Exhale, let it go. Take another deep inhale in. You've got this. Exhale, side out. Now you can stay here if this feels good for you tonight. If you want to cultivate a little heat, start cultivating a little strength here. I'm gonna invite you to tuck your toes under. Take a deep inhale in. As you exhale, lift up from the core, forearm plank here. Yes, pressing into those forearms, crown of the head reaching forward. We're gazing down towards our mat here. Heels actively reaching back. Feel your core, breathe deep. You might start to shake a little bit. That's good. That just means we're getting stronger. Take one more deep inhale in. As you exhale, gently release it back down to the belly. Let that go. Go ahead and slide your hands towards your rib cage here. On an inhale, press your heart forward, baby cobra. Exhale, release it down. On your next inhale, go ahead and tuck your toes under. Press yourself back up into that tabletop position here. Pause here for a second. Take a deep breath in, toes tucked under. As you exhale, start sending your hips high towards the sky, y'all. So we're coming into our first downward facing dog. It's an upside down V shape. Yes, beautiful. And as you get there, just move it around. So maybe pedaling out through the feet, bending one knee and then the other. Maybe shaking the head a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. And breathing deep. Let the head hang heavy. Let the neck be soft. You got this. And then just find some stillness in your down dog. We'll clean it up here, right? So checking in with the hands. You want them shoulder width distance apart. Fingers spread super wide and you want to press into the fleshy parts of your knuckles here. So we take the tension out of the wrists, right? Look back towards your feet. You want to hip width distance apart. All 10 toes pointing forward. About hip width distance, right? So that's like your head could fit in between your two feet. You could keep a generous bend in your knees here so that the tailbone tilts up towards the sky. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, side out, you got it. Take one more deep, smooth inhale into the top. As you exhale, gently release the knees down to your mat. Yes, gorgeous. From here, we're going to step our right foot up in between our two hands. Yes. 
So we're setting up for our low lunge, Anjane Asana here. So checking in with our right knee, we want it over our right ankle. You can gently walk or uh, scooch that left knee back a little bit for a deeper stretch. You got this. And here we go, on an inhale, we're going to reach our arms forward and up for our low lunge. Yes. So hips and shoulders squared off towards the front of the room here as best you can. And the inner thighs pressing in towards one another. So everything engaging towards our midline here for that support, for that strength. Deep inhale in. As you exhale, feel your shoulders relaxing down your back here. Yes, you might tilt your pinkies in towards one another or widen the arms here so that the shoulders are relaxed down your back, yes. From here, go ahead and gently grab that left wrist with your right hand. And on an inhale, reach that left arm up to the sky. Exhale, tilt over towards the right. So just like in the beginning, Lifting up out of that side waist here. Breathe into that left side body. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, stay in the pose. You've got it. Take one more deep inhale in. Exhale, side out. Gently bring yourself back to center. Arms reach up to the sky. You've got this. Inhale, look up, reach up. Maybe a slight back bend here. And as you exhale, release your arms down. We're framing that right leg. Go ahead and straighten through that right leg here. Runner stretch, sending the hips back. Yes, toes flex towards your face. Deep inhale in, press your heart forward. Exhale, round over the top of the right leg here. One more time, deep inhale, press your heart forward. Exhale, gently release it down over the top of that right leg, yes. Gently go ahead and roll through the right leg here, come back to that low lunge. And then from here, you decide what feels good. So maybe you just put step that right knee back into that tabletop, or maybe you step it back into a high uh, upper push-up plank pose. Wherever you are, you decide, take a deep inhale in. Exhale, send the hips high, heels low, downward facing dog, yes. Take a deep, smooth inhale into the top. Exhale, side out. Another deep inhale in, fill yourself up. Exhale, gently release both knees down to the mat. <laughs> yes, back into that tabletop. We're gonna now step the left foot up in between our two hands. Check in with that left knee, left knee over left ankle, yep. If it feels good to do so, maybe send that right knee back a little bit for a deeper stretch. And here we go. As you're ready, go ahead and inhale your arms up to the sky. Anjane Asana, high, uh, low crescent lunge here on the left side, yes. Woo, so feel your tailbone tilting down towards your mat. Low belly scoops in, heart presses forward. And we want our shoulders relaxed down our back as best you can, yes. Deep inhale in, reach up to the sky. Exhale, relax those shoulders down your back. Go ahead and gently grab the right wrist with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, tilt over towards the left side. Just like before, lifting up out of the side waist here, breathing into our right side body. So. Noticing here, we're working on our balance, using our breath here, engaging our core to support us, to hold us up. Take a deep inhale in into that side body. Exhale, let it go, so beautiful. Gently bring yourself back to center. Gorgeous, inhale, reach up, reach back. Exhale, release both hands down. Frame that left foot. And then go ahead and straighten through that left leg. So run a stretch here on the left leg, beautiful. Toes uh, flex towards your face. And then inhale, press your heart forward. Exhale, round it over the top of that left leg. Inhale to press your heart forward, feel that beautiful stretch in the left leg. Exhale, round it over. 
Gently begin to roll through, back into your low lunge. So you decide, you either come into your tabletop straight into down dog, or go ahead and send that left foot back, upper push up plank pose. Yes, cultivate that strength, take a deep inhale in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. All right, from here, inhale your right leg long and back behind you, three-legged dog. On your exhale, gently sweep it through. We're placing that right foot in between our two hands here. Right knee over right ankle, just like before, but this time we're gonna keep that back heel lifted. And on your inhale, swoop your arms forward and up. So now we're, it's a high crescent lunge this time. Gorgeous, yes. So very important, right knee over right ankle, back leg straight and strong. We're on the ball of that left foot. Heart pressing forward, shoulders relaxed down our back. And just like before, gently go ahead and grab that left wrist with that right hand. Inhale the left hand up to the sky. Exhale, tilt over towards the right side. Really working on our balancing here. Chin away from chest, really opening up through that left side body. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, side out. Take another deep, smooth inhale in. As you exhale, gently bring it back to center. Inhale the arms up to the sky, maybe a slight back bend. As you exhale, gently release your hands down to the mat. Frame that right foot. Now you can step it back to your high plank or maybe come into your tabletop. We're all gonna find our way into our downward facing dog. Yes. Taking a second here. We'll take that dance on the other side. Take a deep inhale in, fill yourself up. Exhale, side out. And from your down dog, inhale your left leg long and back behind you, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently sweep it through. Left foot placed in between your two hands, left knee over left ankle. Stay lifted on the ball of your right foot here. On an inhale, swoop your arms forward and up. High crescent lunge on the left side. Checking in with your footing here. So noticing if maybe widening your stance is a little more helpful here. So it's more like railroad tracks instead of a tightrope, right? Just to help us out with balancing, doing what we need to to support ourselves. And then as you're ready, go ahead and gently grab that left wrist with your, uh, sorry, right wrist with your left hand. Inhale the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, gently tilt over towards the left side, feeling this nice yummy stretch on the right side body. Noticing if you're wobbling or shaking, that's all good, right? Just means we're getting stronger. Take a deep inhale in. Ooh, exhale, side out. <laughs> One more deep inhale in. Exhale, gently bring yourself back to center. On your inhale, reach your arms up to the sky, look up, reach up. Exhale, release your hands down to your mat, frame that left foot, and either step it back to your high plank or tabletop. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, send the hips up to the sky, downward facing dog, yes. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Take another deep, smooth inhale in, fill yourself up. Exhale, let it go. And as you do, gently release your knees down to your mat here. So this time we're gonna step our right foot up, but we're gonna step it to the outside of the right hand. So it's right foot outside that right pinky. It reads pom-pom foot on your mat, right? <laughs> So we're setting up for a lizard variation. You might just stay here tonight. This might be where you're at. You might really feel a deep stretch in your right hip. Or, you know, if you're feeling a little more flexible today, you might release your forearms down to the mat for a deeper stretch. Um, sometimes a block or a blanket might be helpful if you need to bring the earth up closer to yourself. Just notice where you are. 
Breathing in deep here as we stretch deeply into this right hip. Take a deep inhale in. Exhale, let something go. Take one more deep, smooth inhale in. Exhale, let it go. Wherever you are, gently start to press yourself back up. We're gonna frame that right foot. And again, you decide either tabletop or high plank. Deep inhale in wherever you are. Exhale, send the hips high, heels low, downward facing dog. Taking a deep inhale in. As we exhale, gently release those knees to your mat. And go ahead and step that left foot up to the outside of the left hand. So this time it's foot palm palm. And then it's taking a second, notice how it feels on the left side. So if you haven't noticed already, each side is can be completely different. That's all the way normal. So honor it, right? Wherever you, wherever it is. So see, see what's up. If um, maybe we're just here today, or maybe we lower down to our forearms. Maybe you sway to it. Hmm. Allow the breath to guide you. Send the breath to where you feel the pose in your body. So it might be deep in that left hip. Let's go ahead and breathe into where we feel it. Go ahead and take a deep inhale into where you feel it in your body. As you exhale, imagine letting some of that tension go. Take another deep, smooth inhale into where you feel the posture in your body. Exhale, go ahead, let some of that go. As you're ready, gently press yourself up. <laughs> Frame that left foot and then come in either to your tabletop or send that foot back to your high plank. This is our last one, y'all. Take a deep, smooth inhale in. Exhale, send the hips high, heels low, down dog. Pedaling it out like we did earlier, moving it around, noticing what feels different, if anything feels different. And then find yourself uh, at center, stillness here. Deep inhale in. Exhale, gently release the knees down to the mat. Find a nice, comfy, seated position here. Legs cross, hands to the knees. Close the eyes for a second. Just notice how you feel. Take a deep, smooth inhale in. Exhale, side out. One more deep, smooth inhale into the top. Exhale, let it go. From here, gently flutter the eyes open. Bring your right hand to your left knee. Send your left hand back behind you for a nice gentle twist here. So not forcing or jolting into anything, but just gently melting into the twist. If possible, gaze past the left shoulder here. Deep inhale in. Exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. Take a deep, smooth inhale in. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Go ahead and gently release the twist. Beautiful, bringing the left hand to the top of the right knee, right hand back behind us. Yes, and twisting from our low belly up towards our heart, sitting up tall and breathe. Take a deep inhale in, fill yourself up. Yes, exhale, maybe twist a little deeper into it. Take one more deep inhale in, fill yourself up. 
Exhale, twist a little deeper. Go ahead and gently bring yourself back to center. Gorgeous. So from here, we're going to set up for a little boat pose. So work the core a little bit. Have a little fun with our balance here. So soles of the feet come onto the mat. Hands can, you can start with your hands behind your thighs here and then slightly lean back. <laughs> Press your heart forward, shoulders down away from ears. So this might be where you're at today. This is perfect, right? If you wanna just start to play around or uh, you know, move into other options here, you can start by bringing your toes to the mat. Maybe you lift your shins up towards the sky as you start to feel you know, your core activate here. Can maintain that heart radiating forward. Maybe you release your hands here. Yes. Using your core here. Maybe one day you straighten out through the legs. Feel that shape and maintain your breath. Wherever you are, take one more deep inhale in. Exhale, gently release the soles back down to the mat. Bring your hands back behind you, fingers uh, pointing towards your, your tushy here. And then we're just gonna gently windshield wiper the legs from one way to the other. Yeah, gorgeous. Just taking a few moments here. Notice where you feel this in your body, breathing deep. Hmm. And then as you're ready, go ahead and start to lower yourself all the way down to your mat, coming onto your back here. And I'm gonna invite you to try something out with me. So sending both legs up to the sky. Hands reaching towards your feet and just start to shake. So maybe shaking the head, shaking the feet, shaking the legs, shaking the arms, shake, shake, shake. And your mind might be telling you something, but see if you can just keep it going. Maybe it's saying, this is silly, what is she doing? <laughs> but see if you can just get past that and then start Shaking a little faster, a little faster. Shake, shake, shake. Move that energy out. Shake just a few more moments. Shake, shake, shake. And as you're ready, gently release everything down. Legs out long in front of you. Ankles spilling away from one another. Palms by your sides facing up. Shoulder blades snuggled in towards one another so that the heart radiates towards the sky and the back of your head melting on your mat. Eyes closed and breathe. Our final savasana. They say this is the most important pose in yoga, and I would agree. Allow this to be a moment for yourself, a moment of gratitude, thanking yourself, thanking your body for showing up for you today for doing everything it does for you every day, all day. We'll go ahead and take a quick scan of the body. So just noticing as you're resting here in this final position, starting from our tippy toes, from our feet down to our ankles, our shins, our calves, around the knees, the thighs, the hamstrings, around the hips, the belly, relaxed. Feel the organs inside this space relaxed. 
up through the rib cage, the heart, the shoulders relaxed. Down the arms, the biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists. Palms by your sides, heavy. Fingers relaxed. Coming back up, meeting at the throat, the neck. Your jaw relaxed, tongue in your mouth relaxed, cheekbones, ears, nose, that space between your eyebrows, all the way out through the crown of your head. As you're ready, begin to deepen your breath, bringing yourself back into your body, back into your beautiful space. Yes, maybe wiggling the toes, wiggling the fingers, rotating the wrist, the ankles. As you're ready, you can begin to rock the head one way and then the other if it feels good to do so. Gently rolling yourself over to whatever side feels best before you make your way gently back up into a seated position. Yes. We'll draw our hands back to our heart center, eyes closed. It's remembering that intention that we set at the beginning of our class for our practice today considering it already done. And I thank each and every one of you for showing up today for yourself, for sharing your practice, your energy, and for trusting me to guide you tonight. Um, I pray you have a beautiful night and feel relaxed and as centered as possible uh, for the rest of your evening and the rest of your week. We'll seal our practice with three breaths, taking a deep, smooth inhale into the top. Fill yourself up. Exhale, sigh it out. Deep, smooth inhale in. Fill yourself up to the top. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. Final collective breath, deepest breath of your night. Fill it up to the top. And as you exhale, let something go. Bowing your head space to your heart space. And we seal our practice tonight. Namaste. Mm.